So if you're right-handed, what you want to do is you want to have the primary menu that we use, which is called the tool, on the right-hand side. And all the tools that you access the most on the right-hand side. If you're left-handed, you will close the right tray, open the left tray, and drag the menus that you use the most, like the tool menu, on the left side. Click on the name to expand it, and there it is. To customize the UI, we need to go to Preferences, and under Configuration, there's a button called Enable Customize. When you click on Enable Customize, your UI will change. The custom menu will expand, so you can drag things in there. You can also drag things in the bottom shelf, on the left shelf, and on the right shelf. To drag an icon, a menu, or a button, it's very simple. Put one of the menus on one of the trays. I'm going to put the color menu on the left tray. And let's say, for example, the fill object button. If I want to drag that into one of my shelves, all I have to do is hold Control and Alt and drag the icon into one of my areas. As I do that, you will notice that you get a white border. So if I go to the bottom shelf, I get the white border. If I go to the left shelf, I get that white border. This is to warn you that you're going to drop that button, that brush, or that menu into that shelf. As soon as you have a few buttons installed in your custom UI, what you have to do is go to Preferences again, Disable Enable Customize, rearrange the UI the way you want it, and then go into Preferences and Store Configuration. When you store the configuration, ZBrush will tell you that the master configuration file has been saved successfully and will be restored every time you start ZBrush. So every time you launch ZBrush, this UI will be set up in the way you wanted it. The other thing that I do is that I save my UI. And when you click Save UI, ZBrush will take you to the correct folder to store your UI. So I tend to name my UIs with my name, underscore, and the date. It will warn you that your configuration has been saved successfully. And then the next time that you open ZBrush on a different computer, you can load UI and the UI will be the same as the UI that you use. So now I'm going to show you what my UI looks like. And here it is. This is what my custom UI looks like. I have all the brushes that I tend to use the most inside of the bottom shelf. I have some custom settings on the right shelf. And of course, inside of my right tray, I have the tool.